Okay, here we go. Jump test number one. What's up guys, today we're doing this superhuman jump effect. I saw it over on Brandon Fate's channel and really wanted to give it a go myself. So this is how I shot and edited this effect. Before I get into the video, I just wanna say that I'm having a huge sale on my Final Cut Pro plugin store. So if you're looking for any new video effects, transitions, LUTs, any of that stuff, then uh, go check it out, the link is down below. So you basically want three shots for this effect. One point of view angle of you jumping off the ground and then landing again, all in point of view angle. And then another point of view angle of you kind of dangling your legs in front of a green screen. This was the first time I've done any sort of green screen stuff. So I had to improvise and do this from the floor, but it's really good fun. So I think I'm gonna invest in a proper green screen setup. And then the final shot is a drone shot starting in the exact same position, pointing at the ground of where you were jumping up and down and then flying directly up towards the sky, panning out towards a view, and then panning back down again, and flying back down towards the floor, exactly where you jumped on the floor. And it's really important to try and get it in the exact same spot that you were jumping from. So the first step is to bring in the point of view clip of you jumping off the ground. I decided to film this in two parts, one of me jumping off the ground and then another of me landing. You can probably do it in one go, but I just wanted a couple of takes to make sure that I had the shot. So the first one I'm going to cut as I leave the ground, I'm just going to cut that and then import it into the timeline. And then the next shot I'm gonna bring in is the drone shot. And obviously you don't want yourself in the shot. And it's going to be much easier for this effect if you fly the drone straight up and down in just one take. So now I'm going to speed up my drone shot. So to do that, what I'm going to do is select it and add a speed ramp. As it gets to the top of the shot, I'm going to select my video clip, hold shift, press B, and then go to where it starts going back down again hold shift press b i'm going to click the drop down menu go to fast times 20 and then also at the end fast times 20 so now we should have the shot going up really fast and then the shot coming down really fast as well you will need to add more speed ramps just to tweak this to fit it to your video clip and it will take a lot of tweaking to get to look really smooth and then you also want to make sure that your drone shot is stabilized Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the green screen shot and put it over my uh, drone shot. So now I need to add a couple effects so that we can get rid of the green screen and also the rest of the uh, surrounding image so that we can separate just a subject for the video clip. So I'm going to select my video clip, go over here to the effects tab and go to keying. And then I'm going to add the keyer effect onto this. So I'm just going to turn down the spill level because I don't want to change any of the color correction just yet. Put the shrink and expand down to minus one or just minus 0.5 just to clean it up, clean up the edges a little bit, make them a bit sharper. The next effect I need to add is the draw mask. So effects, um, masks and draw mask. I'm just going to add that to my video clip. And then to get rid of the outside, because my green screen isn't big enough, I need to draw around the subject it's kind of annoying a bit here just like that so we can get rid of the rest okay so now we have the nice green screen image uh, completely separated from the background what you want to do is go to the beginning of the green screen clip and the end of the pov clip and just match them up so i'm going to select the green screen clip select the transform tool and then move it down into position so that it matches the position of uh, the subject before. So this is what we have so far, we have the jump. So now what I'm going to do is as this drone shot pans up, I need to add some keyframes so that the green screen shot moves down with the pan. I'm gonna go to the point where the drone shot starts panning up select the green screen clip, select the transform tool, and then hit this keyframe button up here. So I'm gonna move forward to where the trees go out of shot and then just drag this down, just like that. 
Now what I'm going to do is just add the green screen clip again and then the shot of me sort of like landing on the ground at the end and just repeat the steps uh, that I did with the star, just linking them up, making the shots match. Okay, so I just repeated the steps that I did at the start for the landing section of this shot. Okay, so the next step is to add some shake effects. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go up here to my titles tab and go to adjustment layer because I want to add the shake effect to the whole project. I will leave the link down below to the adjustment layer. It's a free plugin. It doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's really useful if you want to add effects to multiple video clips. So now I'm going to go to the effects tab and go to uh, shake. I'm going to use the earthquake shake effect and add it to my adjustment layer. These shake effects don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave it down below. Or you can also use uh, handheld would be a good one, uh, which also comes with Final Cut Pro. So I'm just going to add a few keyframes to this earthquake effect. I'm going to set the amount to uh, zero and then I'm going to keyframe it so that at the start it's uh, zero and then as I jump it goes up quite high as I'm flying and then at the top I don't want there to be much shake so I'm just going to kind of keyframe that so that the shake is much less at the top. You can also keyframe the other parameters just to really kind of get the effect you're looking for. And then as I land, I'm going to turn down the shake. Okay, so that's the shake effect added. Now I'm going to add motion blur. So I'm gonna to go to my titles tab down to motion blur. I'll leave the link to this plugin down below. It's a free plugin. And then I'm gonna to go to moderate motion blur two. And this is just going to give the drone shot background blur, which makes it look like it's coming really fast from the ground. You want to add this at the end because it's going to be quite hard on the processing power and you will need to render it to watch it back. So it's a good idea just to add it in at the end. Okay, so let's have a look at that after the shake and motion blur. Cool, so not bad for a quick little edit. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to do is just to add another adjustment layer to add my final color correction. So I'm gonna go over here to my effects tab, go to color, uh, custom LUT, add that onto my adjustment layer. And then a really easy way to get nice uh, cinematic colors is just to use LUTs. I'll leave the link to my LUT pack down below in the description. Uh, if you want to have the same colors that I have right here, I'll probably just use Chrome one looks really nice. And if I turn that on and off, you can see just it just gives it a nice sort of orange and teal look. And there's a bunch of other ones in the pack right there. Tint's really cool. Gives it that nice teal look in the uh, shadows. Cool, and there we go. That is the finished product of that quick little edit. Obviously needs a lot of tweaking, but that is the basics to putting together an effect like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, here we go. Jump test number one.